Digital Browser. So as you guys can see, Infamous Second Son is in first place with 26 votes. 14 votes, Spyro the Dragon, Crash Bandicoot at 8, and Toy Story 3 with 15 votes. The winner is Infamous Second Son with 26 votes, and that's the game I'm going to be playing this episode. Tune to this page again to uh, see a brand new list for you guys to vote. Enjoy the episode. Hello everyone, Fatal the Game Master here, and welcome to episode 3. Hope you guys enjoyed the show so far. We are playing Infamous Second Son, and this game was the first game to be voted in to the show. And if you guys want to vote for next week's game, please check the website and... Um, let us know what you want. Let us know what you want me to play. And uh, it's randomized. So go ahead and check it out. We are playing Infamous Second Son. This is what the game you guys voted for. And as you can see, like most games, I've beaten it 100% already. It's one of my favorite PS4 games. And um, I had a lot of fun with it. All the DLC and everything, I beat it. So um, because I beat the game already, what we're going to do is that I'm, one, going to run around the city and look for some DUP raids, which are these red icons on the map here. And two, I'm going to try and show you as much glitches as possible as I can, and as well as easter eggs. So, let's just run around and cause some mayhem. Actually, let's start off with a, let's start off with an, a glitch. If you come to the map right here, right here, there's a little rock there. If you go towards it, you can actually exit the map by going like this. And you go over here. You get you have to keep pressing circle, and, and I prefer I prefer to use video powers because uh, I find it easier to do. But it's kind of hard to get the hang of it at first. But you want to get a, a nice start like this. You want to go towards the invisible wall. You want you want to push up like this. You want to keep pushing up, and eventually you'll jump over the invisible wall. So now that I'm over it, I can keep going forward. And sometimes you get lucky enough, you'll be able to stand on top of the invisible wall. But once you start uh, flying, you want to look for a solid rock, which would be right here. So for example, so here's a solid rock. And as you can see, we are actually outside the map right now. You can see all of Seattle. Uh, underneath the map, a bunch of glitched um, areas. If you land in the water, you have to start over, unfortunately. You, you don't die, you just kind of spawn towards the, sh to the, the shore. So we're going to see how far we can get. So we're going to take another leap here. And you want to jump like this, and you want to keep going. You want to swoop back with analog stick, so your De uh, De um, Devin, what his name is, Deslin, I think it's soups. He swoops up a bit like that. You want to keep doing that. You want to make sure the rock is solid. I don't think this is a solid rock. I went too far out. If you go too far out, that happens. Um, it spawned me right next to a DUP raid, though. So let's go to that DUP raid. Okay. Looks like he has... Oh. Okay, here we go. So we have a battle on our, battle on our hands. Oh, God. I did not see that guy coming. We gotta run, we gotta get out of here. If you're about to die, you have to go quick. Okay, we have a big battle on our hands here. Even the cops are want to face us. Get that out of here. We need some video powers. Activists. We don't like those activists. Get rid of them. <clears throat> okay, seems to be some enemies above me. Enemies all around me, actually. Let's go up here, sneak attack them. <coughs> got him. Go here, got him too. We have a Hellfire Swarm ready, so I gotta go here. <coughs> and let's put it right in the middle. My favorite superpower is the one where uh, I believe it's a neon one. That's the that's the most effective one. This one here is all right, but the neon power is the most effective I find. And that destroyed everyone. That killed everyone there. So that worked well. That that, that worked very well. 
Alright, so let's check the map again. There's a really cool out of the map glitch you can do right here to get you back to the main area. Now, not the main area of the beginning of the game, but close enough to the main area. But before we do that, let's try and get out of the map again, because I want to see how far I can actually get out of the map. The reason I love the video power is because uh, you climb at the building so fast with it. Here we go. Almost there, here we go. I wanna hit this, hit this right here. It shoots me up in the air, then I can just swoop this way. Oh, I hit the invisible wall. I wanna go around it. It's really hard to do glitches in this game, but once you get the hang of it, it always, almost always works. Oh god, okay, here we go. Oh. And I think I got him stuck. Oh, never mind. We're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, jeez. Oh no. Come on, come on. Come on. Okay. We almost made it. Here we go, here we go. Oh no. Okay, it looks like I can't jump on that rock. Because it's a um, visible wall, it just doesn't want me to climb it. Oh, I think I made it. It's pushing me, it's fighting it for sure. Oh, here we go, oh my god. I am sure going high. Whoa. Oh, here we go. I like go on top of this visible, if I go on top of this visible wall, I should be able to land on top of it. Like this. This is what I was trying to do right here. This glitch. As you can see, uh, he just starts floating on top of the wall. And you can ride it, actually. Um, I, I guess he fell off, but you can actually ride it all the way across. And sometimes he'll even, um, what's it called? Sometimes he'll even just uh, st get stuck in midair. I got lucky to find another solid rock. Let's see how far we can go out, actually. Oh, here we go. I keep saying, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> this really hard game to glitch. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna fall. He's not landing anywhere. Oh my god. Don't fall in the water. He keeps getting pushed. Can I make it to that rock? Oh, look at the game glitching in the background. Oh, uh, that's that's a see-through rock, isn't it? Yes, I landed in the I landed in the water. But I did what I wanted to do there. It's a really cool glitch. If you guys want to try it for yourself, just go right here and start jumping from here and try and go around it. Like I said, you can you can eventually get stuck in midair and it's pretty funny. But what I want to show you guys is I want to go over here and right here, the main bridge broken bridge I'll show you how, I'll show you I'll show, I'll show you guys how to get across it and once you're across it you, get, you can actually go to the main area not the beginning area but close enough to the beginning area and I devise using the the video powers and there's also a secret hidden boat you can find uh, on the far left side once you make it there it has like the writing boat time on it. It's pretty cool. I found it a while ago when, I, when this game first came out. But now I'm going to show you guys for this episode. This game's really fun. Uh, it's one of my, like I said, it's one of my favorite games. You, you guys should definitely check it out. If you have a PS4 and you don't, ha you don't own this game, pick it up. It's fairly cheap now. You won't regret it. You'll you'll have a great time with it. If it's if it's not your style of game, play in easy mode. I beat an expert, but that's because I've played the other ones. So I've had my you know my fair share of infamous. It's just like with the Uncharted series. I know everything about it. Now I haven't played this game in a while, but like I said, it's easy to get the hang. It's, it's easy to get back into the hang of it. 
Uh, if you want to check this out right here, this is a, a reference to Starbucks. As you can see, as, as you can see, it kind of looks like the Starbucks logo. Cafe Con Quistador. It's supposed to be a parody Easter egg to uh, Starbucks. So that's pretty cool. If you guys didn't know that. But here we go, yeah. So the beginning area. I'm going to cross these bridge here. You want to go all the way to the end of it where the broken rocks are. You want to land on top of this big the big rock right here. You want to video you want to video swoop up on top of it. And then you'll get some height and you, you can go over there. So you want to go like this. Swoop up. Start going towards it. Swoop up like that. So you can go even farther. Do the same thing. Go even farther. Blast it. Go up like that. Go even farther. Blast it. Go like that. And now, just land in the water. And you'll see why. Because once you return to shore, you'll actually return right here. So now, you just keep going forward. So now you spawn right here instead of spawning back over here. You're back on the bridge. Now you just keep going that way. And you can't move the camera anymore towards the map. But it's blocked here. But your guy will actually go off the map. So I'll show you what to do. First thing you want to do, you want to jump over here. Just uh, swoop there, like that. Now you, you want to get back on top of this bridge. So we're going to have to go underneath a bit, uh, underneath it for a bit. And then we're going to turn around here, go like that, and then swoop up. And now you're on top of the bridge. From here, go here, do a jump. And video power it forward there. Same thing here. Video power, and then press X so you do a high jump. Swoop, and then... Video power again. You land on top of the bridge. Keep doing the same thing till you get to the to the final to the main area. Same thing up here. Uh, this one here. Oh no! When you when you get right here, you have to go underneath the bridge because you can't make it over. So same thing. Just go underneath it. It's not that hard. Got a couple uh, simple jumps here. Then the bridge breaks down right here. You want to go around it like this. Oh, I landed in the water by accident. Don't touch the water. If you touch the water, you screw up. But like I said, you could just you spawn close enough anyways. So go like that, and then swoop back up, and then back forward. These jumps are really easy, and if, even if you mess up, you don't you don't spawn too far away from where you messed up, so it doesn't matter. Okay, keep running, and now as you can see, we're going to be hitting the bridge from the beginning level. I'm not going to spoil the game for all the people who hasn't uh, played the game yet, but now you're um, back in the beginning bridge. It's all broken. When you start the game, obviously it's not broken, but... Now you're back here, and you're not, you're not supposed to be able to get here. That's the funny thing. You're not supposed to be get, able to get here. If you check the map, um, our, our cursor is nowhere near the map anymore because we're off the map. We're off screen. But you can keep going. It's all solid. I still haven't found a way to get back to the first area of the game. This is the closest I've got to the first area of the game. And I'm sure eventually someone will find out. Keep going, I keep going with this. And what we're going to do with this video, we're going to actually start, we're going to search around the area here and try and find some glitches. So let's try and get out of here, for example. Okay. As you can see, there's this solid. This is not solid. In the water we go. Game gets all glitchy there. Okay. There's a few. There's a few hidden boats around the map, on the outs on the outskirts, which are not solid. So you can't get to them, but you can um, get close to them. So this invisible wall here is what is is the farthest you can go without before falling to the ground. And each time you return to shore, you, you get put right behind the wall. So as you can see, there's a this distinct line right there. And even on the map, you can see my cursor is there's no more road. But if you video power all the way up like this, then do it again till you get over the wall. Stick to the left side. There's a bunch of rocks. Now your goal is to, to um, kind of rock hop so you can actually get more power. So first rock is right here. Land on it. And you wanna boom boost up. I messed up that boost, but it's okay. You can make it to the next rock. You should be able to make the next rock. There we go. Once you're on this rock, 
Get higher up. Same thing. Boost, jump up here. And then boost and jump up here. You want you wanna keep you wanna keep following these rocks so you get to this one right here. This is the last rock you can get to before um, it's the it's it's the end pretty much. And as you can see, the, the bridge just well the road just cuts off and it's just water. And the main area is actually behind those mountains, but like like as you can see, the whole thing is just it's it's, it's visible, but you can't you can't walk on it. So it's just pretty much invisible. But there's a hidden boat around there. And by the way, if you're wondering why I'm always jumping, is because if I let go, he starts sliding. So you always have to be jumping. But there's a hidden boat down there, which I'm gonna try to get to right now. Let's see if I can do it first try. You have to boost jump and then start going towards there. But here we go. All right, keep going. There is the boat right there. It says boat time on it. If I can get to it. Oh, oh, oh dude, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Okay, yes, I def I'm definitely gonna make to make it on it. Well, not on it, but I'm gonna be right in front of it. So as you can see, you have a boat here, and on the bottom, right there, it says boat time. B O A T T I M E. Kind of hard to see. Maybe if I made it a little more clear. Let's see if I can uh, go to options menu real quick. Oops, my bad. I returned to shore. But that's the hidden boat right there. Uh, let's try the other side actually. I love I love exploring the glitches in this game because it's just so much fun. And uh, I made I found that boat like I said a while ago. And if you want to see how um, if you want to see it, on my YouTube channel. Fit okay gaming. So go ahead and check it out for yourself. But I also showed you in this video. Uh, I believe there's multiple other boats. Because I've seen other YouTube YouTube videos of people finding more boats. There's the boat time boat I just showed you. But let's look around and see if we can find anything else. Let's go up here. Let's check this. Let's check this way. I see some sailboats there, and I also I'm also able to stand on midair. Okay, that's just the game glitching. I'm wondering what that was. It looked like a tanker ship, like a cargo ship, but then I realized it's just the background. Okay, that's pretty cool. I wish we can get there. There's Seattle right there. So let's see if we can get somewhere closer. That looks like the log house right there. Okay, let's go. Okay. I think I messed up that jump. Oh, the game won't let me get that far. The game cut me off and it brought me all the way back to the beginning. All the way back to the beginning. Okay, well, I guess I'll show you another another really cool glitch. It involves the biggest building in the game, which so happens to be that big Augustine Tower right there. That tower right there. There's actually, there's actually a way to glitch inside of it, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Because I beat the game, I can obviously teleport to that area, but if you have it, you have to unlock these teleporters. Do fast travel. Since I can, I'm just going to fast travel right here. So let's go to that fast travel location. Alright, now that we're here, we got to look for the tower, which shouldn't be hard to miss, obviously, because it's the biggest tower in the game. It, uh, it sucks how the game won't let you go to, uh, on top of the, the needle, the space needle I think it's called. But you do go on the Space Needle in that one mission, so. There's the tower right there. I can't believe I didn't see it, but it's right there. So let's boost towards that tower. Here we go. And um, it's really cool. It's a really cool glitch. I found this one out by accident. I was just, you know, uh, trying to break the game like usual. 
uh, using my video powers on random objects and buildings and eventually I just went right through it. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. So to get to it, you have to go on a certain area of the, of the tower. Uh, around here somewhere. I think actually it might be right here. Um, I'll try and I'll try and remember. I'll remember when, once I see it. Okay, is that the ground level of it? I think it's the ground level. You pretty much have to run up the tower with your powers, and then oh, I think this is right here. Okay, I think this might be the area. Yeah, this is definitely the area right here. This broken down area should be it. You want to boost. You want to fly up with the video powers, and eventually you'll hit the electricity. You'll fall through, and if you're lucky enough, you'll you'll breach through the glass, and you'll be inside the building. So let's try it out. So you want you want that to happen, then you want to try and fall through. You don't want to die though. Oh, I think I did it first try. Yes, I did it first try. Okay. So as you can see, I am now inside the building, and it's all um, it's all buggy. Oh god. Oh, hold on. I I just got something funny. Let's go into um photo mode. <laughs> Here we go. Oh damn it! Okay, let's try that again, and then I'm gonna go into photo mode and try and take a picture of my of Del. De what's his name? Delson. Delson. Delson glitched in there. So here we go. Boost up. Get hit. Fall forward. Do it again. Eventually, you'll fall through. Almost did it. Okay, see now I'm having a hard time with it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I got it. Okay, nice. I can't see though. Ah, oh, damn, he fell through. Photo mode in this game is really fun because you can take a picture of Delson. Even when he's glitched in the area. I have some, I have quite a few, quite a few, quite, quite a few cool photos I took of him in a glitched area. Keep doing this, eventually you'll fall through. It's that easy, like that. Boom, I'm through again. Alright. So as you can see, when I go in photo mode now, I can take I can, I can take quite the picture of Delson. I just go like this. You see how see how glitchy the game is right now? <laughs> it's really cool. So if I go right here, you know, pan it, orbit, roll it a bit, make it look all all like dark. Like that. Field of view, depth perception, color grading. Change the whoa. That makes it trippy. Was it vintage? Vintage makes it makes it look real trippy. That makes it look all dark and stuff. I think we should do vintage. Okay, now once you have that, if you press, that's pause, press options, or share I should say, you can save the screenshot. The screenshot is now saved. And then continue on with your glitched, glitched Delson. It's really cool. <laughs> it, it just fascinates me how you can just glitch a game really, like this bad. Oh cool, look where I landed. Pretty cool. Let's take a, another photo right here. Sick. Let's do TV. No, actually, let's go. Uh, let's do Bay. Bay sounds good. Same thing. Boom. Save screenshot. Oh, and I finally fell out. Let's climb all the way to the top and let's see if we can get to a new area.
you don't know. Okay, if you haven't if you haven't beat this game, you don't know. You get on top of this tower, it's the last area of the game, and uh, you have to use almost all your powers to get on top. You start off with using smoke by going through the vents, and then so on and so forth. Just gotta find the first vent. Okay, so you'll have to drain the smoke first. There's the vent right there. So you want to go through the vent. It'll blast you all the way up. Go through the vent again. Blast you all the way up. Start moving forward. Should be in the vent here, I believe. Oh, right here. So then you have to go up here towards this. Climb it like you're Spider Man or Super Delson. All the way up here, turn around, jump forward. Whenever you see something that you can use, you have to use it. If not, then uh, you have to find something else. So obviously, that was smoke still. So I'm still on the smoke. Boom, here we go. Oops, I almost messed up there. We have to go right over... Where? Oh, right here. I didn't see it. Right there. Still, still gotta be smoke. And I think we switch right here. I think we switch it. Nope, still smoke. Come on, we up. The, clim the climbing is the iffy part of this but once you get to the top and you use your video powers you blast off really high up in the sky oh god oh almost fell off there that would have been that would have sucked that would have to do it all over again right here that's where we get the video now with the video powers we can just boost up all the way to the top and now we're oh now we're on top on now we're on top of a. Uh, Augustine's tower and I believe there's a way to get uh, somewhere glitchy over here I'm trying to trying to remember I know what I know you can get there I've got there before there's an area here we can get to just can't remember okay yeah let's, let's try and get to that let's try and get to that right there boost up Boom. Fly towards it. You gotta keep hovering. <laughs> All the way there. Keep going and going. Nothing really much here except that, you know, you get to this broken part, broken area here. That's a cool photo, eh? Get it like right there. Have like both cities in the background like that. That's a nice photo. Taking that right there. Boom. Oh no! Here's another glitch area right here. This game is just full of glitches. You just have to find them. That's it. You just gotta find the glitches. And if you haven't, um, if you played this game and you want to get first light, but you're not sure if you should, I'd recommend getting it. If you play, if you love this game, you would definitely enjoy First Light. Playing as um, 
the neon girl fetch that was her name playing as fetch was re was a really fun experience and uh, the challenge mode is just really fun it, 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 it is a nice challenge I'll give it that I haven't I haven't beaten that game 100% yet or platinum it it's um, it, it's a it's a fun challenge though I keep going back and trying once in a while but um it's really fun So what we can do actually, we can play some first light because it's infamous anyways and I showed you all the glitches I wanted to here. So let's go play some first light. Put that in. So this is first light guys. I have it on disc right here. Right here. If you're wondering how I got it on disc, I bought it off Amazon from the UK as you can tell. It has the different uh, rating system from North America. So that's how I got on disc. I like my games in disc. I have that. I love that feel of being able to hold it in your hand. But this is first light. So we're gonna go into the battle arenas. You see what we have here. The challenges are on the the right side there. The Delson uh, survival for Beta barely beat it, and then Gamma is almost there. Survive 30 enemy waves, defeat 50 enemies with the Super Bolt. So let's go. Let's do. Let's do Gamma. Let's give it a shot. Let's play as Flashback Fetch. Let's go. So Challenge Arena or Battle Arena is what it sounds like. It's see how long you can survive against a bunch of enemies. Yes, Walker. Focus. And I haven't played this game in a while, so it's gonna be. I'm gonna fail a lot. Or maybe I'll make the good right away. I actually had a glitch once where I glitched into the wall. That really helped. Here we go. Headshots, headshots are really good. They're pretty much a must. Although sometimes, like as you can see, you hit them in the head, nothing happens. Those demon things are never fun to fight. The human enemies are the, are the easiest. After that, it gets really hard. Singularity. Singularity is my uh, finisher. It's best to use it when you have a bunch of enemies. You don't want to use it on like two enemies. Last guy should be right here. Wave 5 out of 30. You guys may think this is right now looking at it. Oh, it's not that hard. This looks pretty good. Pretty easy. No, it's gonna get harder. Especially these things here, you gotta hit their, you gotta hit his little circles first, his little floaties. Then he dies automatically, but these little stupid things are annoying. Okay, we 
it's, we're, get, we're getting good right now. We're doing good. Demons. Oh, I think I missed them. Oh, I got him. I got him. Doing good. Doing good. Like I said, headshots are key. Wherever you see that thing on, on the guy's body, that's what you want to hit. Because that will subdue them. Or it would like hit. It will turn them green and, and then they'll fight, they'll fight on your side. Now it's gonna get harder. Now they're gonna shoot enemy after enemy. Uh oh, see? See how fast see how fast you can get hurt? I'm almost dead already. Got him. When I'm in the zone, I'm in the zone. Oh god, oh god. Gotta keep running, look for health. Main thing, you always wanna be around these uh, little uh, the neon lights for health. And sometimes you'll be shooting you'll be shooting the pink part of the body, but uh, they won't subdue or die. That's that's normal. The shards that give you a special power up. So now I have a multiplayer boost, which is always good. Ooh, it's getting intense now. It's getting intense. I use my. I'm, I'm saving my finisher for when I, I I really need it. For when I'm about to die and I just I have to shoot it or use it. Okay. Oh no! I gotta keep going. See, once you once you once you uh, get really injured, just run towards the neon light and suck it up right away. We're gonna see how far we can get, guys. We're gonna see how far we can get with this survival mode. Hope you guys are enjoying the episode so far. Just remember, you can go on the website to vote for next week's game. And uh, if, I, if I beat it already, I will show you secrets and tips. If I haven't beat it already, then I will play from where I left off. That's how that works. Okay, that guy seems to uh, love just getting shots in the face and not dying. I think you need more. Oh, what a what a grenade! Well, what a explosive shot today. Oh god. Here we go. This is the time. This move is awesome. It sucks everyone up and just destroys them. Oh, what an explosion. Things 
got him. He's on my team now. Grab this shard real quick. Oh god. These things are the worst. I hate these things the most. I gotta go towards a neon light because you know if I die. Plus, you always you, have, you need to use the neon to regenerate your 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 bullets pretty much. This guy, you have to go behind him when he's uh, trying to, you know, cover up, and you can kill him real fast like that. It's an it's a instant kill, pretty much. Okay, you gotta run. Heal, ha heal, hatchet against guys. You all, you just have to keep running away from them. Keep going towards the neon, the neon lights on the mini map. Right here, just gotta hit the two balls. That's it. What a kill there! Go singularity time. Destroy a bunch of them. Be an awesome multi kill right here. Oh, that was a 20 kill. 21 kill streak. Two. Can we keep it going? Oh. All these enemies. Look at least those flying things are one hit kill right now. Run, run. Keep running, keep running. Gotta keep blasting through that. Oh, I got lucky there. And the thing, with the, the thing with the neon lights, though, they have to regenerate. So you can't just keep going to the same one. You have to let it regenerate. Got him. Boom. Rocket that. A lot of big guys here now. Oh god. Run. 
run! Oh my god. Whatever, I don't need him. Incoming wave 17. See now now it gets to the point where the waves, they don't have they don't even wait for you to kill everyone. They just keep coming and coming. Well, that uh guy does not want to die. Guys, you want to keep killing them. Every time you see them, you want to make sure you kill them right away. See how you always want to save your singularities for when either uh, it gets tough or if there's just so many guys on the screen, you just want to kill them all at once or majority of them at once. You want to watch out for those laser dots on you though. They will kill you, uh, I think, in two hits. The first hit will make you black and white, the second hit will kill you instantly. I think I'm just with that rock on him. You guys are getting a really lucky show right now. I usually never do this good on this, on this map. Especially for we're not playing for a while. I'll just turn up the Here we go. Now it's gonna get crazy. Wait 20. Those spiders are really annoying. Uh, bigger boss characters, you want you want to keep your distance from them. And you want to shoot missiles at them because uh, they will get they will drain your health in in seconds. I still haven't used the singularity yet, and that is a good thing. Because, uh, the, the better you can kill them fast enough without using the singularity, the better you will be in the in the, in the future run. See how I'm just I'm just running back and forth. Uh, when I see an enemy that I can kill quick enough, I kill them right away. If not, then uh, I wait. These two here, I'm going to wait for them to go near that bomb right there. And then destroy it like that. Get a missile. 
missile at him. Two missile at him as well. and then just run away. Run to the next one you see on the map, which is right here. Get a triple kill there, hopefully. Nice. Nice. So you, see, you see, see what I'm doing, guys? You just want to keep going around them. You see the explosions, you want to blow it up. You land on someone's head like that, you want to just hit them right away. When you see them spawn, you want to make sure they don't spawn right away. Just simple things like that. actually a glitch right there. Uh, that's how I got out of the map that one time I told you. Oh damn, I think I was actually out of the map. Uh, out of the map there. It sounded Irish there. Out of the map. Out of the map there! That was a bit bad, sorry. I'm never gonna do that again. Am I going too easy on you? Let's fix this. Right in the middle. Singularity time. Here we go. We get a bunch of kills here. Look at him just suck up like a vacuum. Whoa. I don't know what challenge I completed, but I just completed a bunch of challenges there. Pretty much spray them once you see them. Watch the snipers. Wave 28. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. We are getting there. Those Reapers, you want to make sure you hit them right away. Because they don't die unless you uh, destroy the two things floating around them. Wait, twenty nine. Jump in the air and just start shooting them. Now you get a real test. Wave 30, here we go. Wave 
Super Bolt is like a stronger, uh, stronger power. wave 30 and then I'll end that episode there guys the challenge complete I think I got it I got it for sure right. and that is how you beat that well, I've missed Walker, or you won't be so I'm gonna stop it there because I'm well over an hour so I'm gonna stop it there guys I hope you enjoyed the episode hope you enjoyed watch me kick some butt in that arena and I hope you enjoyed those infamous second sun Easter eggs and glitches if you want to vote for next week's episode, visit the website down below and vote for next week's game. It's randomized guys, just pick the game and I will play it. I will play it the best my, to my ability, I will show you any secret easter eggs I know in it. Thank you for watching guys, remember, no game is unbeatable, Fatal Krauser, out. <laughs>